Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, I'm gonna be going over what ClickFunnels actually is and why you need it if you wanna grow your online business. Now, I'm gonna just jump right into this video and I'm actually gonna go over to my computer screen to show you guys in more detail what ClickFunnels is and how you can use it for your online business. All right, you guys. So before I share with you guys what ClickFunnels is and how you can use it to grow your online business, I just wanna first welcome you guys to my channel and if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning different methods when it comes to making money online, then I invite you to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so let me start off by first explaining what ClickFunnels actually is. It's a software that helps entrepreneurs build a successful online business. So if you're somebody who's looking to create an online business, then ClickFunnels is definitely going to help you grow and scale that business. Now, ClickFunnels is a software that you can use to build any type of sales funnel for your online business. Whether you have an e-commerce business and you're trying to get people to buy your product, whether you're trying to get more customers for your dental business, real estate business, whether you wanna get more clients for personal training, affiliate marketing, life coaching, whether you just wanna host webinars. If you're trying to generate leads for your business or just trying to sell other high-end products on the back end of your sales funnel. Whatever business that you're in, ClickFunnels is gonna help you grow your business. Now let me talk about the difference between having a website and having a sales funnel. Now usually a traditional website, they have a logo in the top section with the menu bar and that usually has a subheader with some drop down menus and a few pictures or links that's gonna direct people to another page. A sales funnel on the other hand is more direct and it usually consists of a landing page that offers the customer something that they would be interested in. Maybe a free report on weight loss tips if they're looking to lose weight or maybe a free video that shows them a method to make money online or a discount off of a product when they purchase something from you. Now let me give you an example of a traditional website. Now this website right here is the website for Canon and everybody knows what this website is. Canon sells cameras and camera equipment. But I mean, as you can see, they have the basic uh, elements to a traditional website. Like I mentioned earlier, they have the logo right here with a few drop down menus or just links that's going to take you to different pages. Now, if I'm somebody who's interested in buying a camera, but I have no idea what camera to look for, what's the best camera for my budget or any of the features that a traditional DSLR camera would have. I mean, I would pretty much be lost right here. So I wouldn't really know where I should be clicking on to find a product that's going to be suitable for my needs. So I might just click on cameras and camcorders. And I mean, obviously there's a whole different bunch of options to choose from and I wouldn't really know which one to go with. So I'll just probably click around and I'm looking at listings for different cameras. But I mean, to be honest with you, I really don't know what I'm looking at. So more than likely, I would just go to another website that makes it a lot simpler to know what type of camera would be best suitable for my needs. So let's just say, for example, I'm a beginner just looking to get into photography or just video editing or recording. And I mean, I really don't know what to look for as far as those requirements. And I mean, there's a lot of different price ranges that they have right here. So let me just go over to another website that has a good sales funnel in place already. So this website is the Helix website. Now, as you can see, they have a call to action already. It's called take a sleep quiz. They have it right here on the top and in the middle right here. So this is to determine what type of sleep number that you have to see what would be most suitable for your sleeping requirements. So as you can see, if I were to click on here, take sleep quiz, it's going to redirect me to another page and they want me to enter in my email. Now, in order for me to take this sleep quiz, I'm going to have to enter in my email. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Now, as you can see right here, they want me to fill out a little bit of information to get a better understanding of what my sleep number is. So let's just say that, for example, I want a full size mattress for one person. And they even go the extra step to ask what my name is. So I'm going to just put Benjamin and I am uh, 29. They even ask you what your height is. Five foot ten and I weigh, let's just say 180 pounds. Also, they even ask you what type of sleeper are you? A back sleeper, a side sleeper or a stomach sleeper. So I'm going to just say back sleeper. And they actually ask you more questions to get a better understanding of what your sleep type is. So they ask if you ever wake up with back pain, I just put, I'm going to put sometimes. And then they're going to find a match to see what sleep number that you are. Well, actually, they just recommended me a mattress that's best suitable for my needs. 
So it says your helix color matches helix dust. I don't know what that means exactly, but they just matched me with the mattress that's going to be best suitable for my sleeping needs. So you can see the difference between this website and Canon's website. As you can see, Canon is a more traditional website where they just have everything laid out for you and you have to navigate through it and just figure out what product would be best suitable for your needs. But with Helix, they have a guide that's going to help you determine what mattress is best suitable for you. Now, what I did earlier before I took this little quiz is I entered in my email address. Now, that's very important because if I don't buy a mattress right now, what they're going to do is that they're going to send me updates and maybe sales or new products that they have available to my email address. So they're going to be marketing to me. Now this is where Canon is kind of messing up because they're not asking you for your email address. So that's the difference between a traditional website and a website that has a sales funnel in place. Okay, so let me go over to ClickFunnels and show you how you can create a high converting landing page that will get people to give you their email in exchange for something that's valuable to them. So this is going to be the home page of ClickFunnels and if you don't have an account, this is the page that you're going to see. Now the cool thing about ClickFunnels is that they have a 14 day free trial and after that, their basic plan stats starts at $97 a month. Now I know that sounds pretty pricey, but if you're going to be using this to grow your business, then that's well worth it. And I'll leave a link in the description of this video to that 14 day free trial. But I already have an account, so let me just go over to the back office of my ClickFunnels account. So this is the back office of my ClickFunnels account. And if you want to just see what kind of funnels that you have, if you're brand new to ClickFunnels, you're not going to have any funnels in your account, but you can actually purchase your own templates based on the type of business that you're in. So if you click right here and you see funnel marketplace, it's going to show you a different variety of templates that you can purchase. But the thing is you can just create a sales funnel from scratch and you can just use these templates as a model. So let me just go ahead and go back and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to create a funnel for your business. So let's just click right here where it says build funnel. Now they have three different options when it comes to building a funnel. So you can create a funnel that's gonna help you collect emails to sell your product or to host a webinar. Now, if I were to choose any of these three options, they're gonna give me templates that I can use and just drag and drop to edit them to my personal business. But what I'm gonna do is create a custom funnel. Now, just for the example of this video, I looked up a product on AliExpress that I would be planning on selling if I had a Shopify store. So it's going to be this product right here. It's going to be a uh, fitness heavy jump rope. So if I were to have a drop shipping website on Shopify, it would be based around fitness and fitness equipment. So I'm going to be using this product as an example for this video. So I'm going to just name this funnel jump rope. So I'm just going to call this one product funnels for the group tag product product funnel and I'm gonna just click build funnel now as you can see they have a wide variety of different templates that you can use to build a sales funnel so depending on what your business is all about I mean these templates can help you out but this is gonna be a sales funnel so we're not gonna look for opt-ins we're gonna be looking to make sales so we're gonna click on this one where it says sales page so we can just go ahead and select any template that they have because we're going to be starting from scratch. And then we're just going to edit page. Okay, so when it comes to ClickFunnels and creating a sales funnel, they have what's called sections, they have rows, and they have elements. So everything in this green box is going to be considered a section. So it's going to be a large area that you can fit other content in. And then they have rows. So rows are going to be these blue boxes right here. So you have sections, and then inside those sections are going to be rows and then inside of those rows are going to be elements. So elements are going to be these orange boxes right here. So elements can be something like a video, text, a logo, or any type of other form of media. So just remember it's sections and inside those sections are going to be rows and then inside those rows are going to be elements that make up your sales funnel. But we're going to be starting from complete scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these uh, sections, rows, and elements. So what I'm going to do is just go over to sections and I'm going to click on manage and you can just toggle on the things that you can see. So if I click on all of this, it's all going to be disappeared. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to de delete everything. So I'm just hit this trash can right here, delete, delete, and delete. So now we have a blank canvas to work with. So now we're just going to save this. 
and the title I'm gonna just put jump rope and okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new section at the top of the page and this is just gonna be like a company name so I'm gonna just think of one off the top of my head and it's gonna be a full width section so now that I added a new section what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new row and it's gonna be one column because I want the image or the company name to be in the center so like I mentioned earlier we have a section and in that section is gonna be a row now I'm gonna add an element so it's just gonna be a headline if you have an image you can add your company logo to it to make it look more official but for the sake of this video I'm gonna just create a headline so I'm gonna just call this uh, so our product is gonna be a jump rope so I'm gonna just think of a name a company name just say fitness life or something like that fitness life okay so what I can do is I can edit the font of this headline right here to make it stand out make it bigger so I can just adjust it I can choose a different font if I want to so they have all kinds of different Google fonts that you can choose um, I'm gonna just go with this one make it look basic and I'm gonna add another headline on the bottom of this just to explain what the company has to offer when it comes to fitness or just to give a little bit more detail about what the company is about in general so I'm gonna add a new element and it's gonna be a sub headline so I'm gonna just put something like uh, live healthy live fit you know something like that and I'm gonna just make this mm, a different font let's see what they have uh, I'm gonna just go with something like maybe something like something like that so what I can actually do is I'm gonna add adjust the padding for this right here and this is basically the space that you give between the headline and the sub headline so if I want to have more space just add more of the top margin but I'm gonna make it a little bit closer so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another section and I'm gonna add a background image and it's gonna be a full width image so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go to settings of this section and then I'm gonna just click right here and where it says background image I'm gonna add my own and I already uploaded one that I'm going to be using for this particular uh, sales funnel. And it's going to be one that I found from the product page. And then I just added it to a stock background image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adjust this a little bit. So for image position, I'm going to just put 100% width. But what I can also do is put full center parallax. So what that means is as you're scrolling down the page, the image is going to be scrolling with the page. But for now, I'm going to just put 100% width. Now, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to add some rows. So I'm going to add new row. And I'm going to just put one column. And then for this row, I'm going to adjust the, uh, the padding. So what this does is increases the space from the top. So you can see more of the image. And you can also do the same thing for the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this just by clicking right here and it just repeats the same thing and I'm going to just do it one more time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another row and I'm going to just put two columns because I'm going to add text to this. So as you can see, this is going to be our background image and then we're just going to add some text to it to explain what the product is all about and talk about the benefits and the features of the product. But for now, let me just save it and then I'm going to preview it so you can see how it looks so far. Okay, so this is what our sales funnel looks like so far. So we just have the company name that I just made up and then it's going to be a slogan and then we just have this background image. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I took the picture of this guy right here from the AliExpress product page and then I just overlaid it to a free background image from Unsplash. Now, I just did this in Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop, there's other resources out there that you can use for free photo editing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a headline for this specific product. So I'm going to just add a new element and I'm going to just put a headline. So when it comes to thinking about what headline to go with, you have to think about your target audience. 
who would be interested in buying this jump rope? People who are interested in fitness, staying in shape, being healthy. So you can just think of a headline kind of like using that idea in mind. So I'm going to just put stay fit by jumping. Now this is probably like a terrible headline, but I'm just using it for the example of this video. So I'm going to just adjust the font for this one right here. So I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger for the headline and I'm going to just choose a different font. Maybe I'm going to just go with something. I don't remember what font that I used for the other one, but I'm going to just go with this one and I'm going to add a new row and I'm going to make it two columns. So I'm going to add like a little sub headline. I'm just click on paragraph for maybe like a little bit of more information or add something that's related or it explains more about this product. So I'm going to just type in something like get in shape by jumping around for 15 minutes a day with this awesome product. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this text right here so it'll stand out. So I'm click on settings. And I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger. Maybe choose a different font. Um, just go with. Just go with this one. And I'm going to change the text color. So it'll stand out a little bit more. Maybe. You know, I'm going to just make this black to make the same color as the headline. And I might just increase the size a little bit so you can so people can read it. So let me just go ahead and save that and let's preview how the, the landing page looks. So this is what we have so far. So we have the main headline, the little slogan, the background image, the headline for the product and the little uh, sub headline, if you will. So let's go back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another section just by clicking right here, the green plus button, and I'm going to make it full width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings of this section right here and I'm going to just change the background color. So instead of being transparent, I'm going to make it maybe gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new row and I'm going to make this one two columns and then I'm going to add another row. So I'm going to click right here, add another row and I'm going to make this one three columns. So we have two new rows, one with two columns, one with three columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of images. So right here, I'm going to put image one right there and that's a demo image and I'm going to change that in a minute and then I'm going to add another image. So one right there and one right there. So I'm going to just add a So I'm going to just add a few more images of this product to give more information and more value for this product. So I'm going to just click right here, click on settings. And then I'm going to click right here to upload an image. So I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to add another one. So when you, it's pretty simple to upload an image. Uh, all you have to do is just click right here. You can drag and drop images or you can just click on upload and just look for them on your computer. So once that's uploaded, you just double click and it's going to be added right there. So that's one image and then I'm going to go ahead and add another image. So this is basically what we have so far, just a couple more images to give a little bit more information about the product. You know what? I'm going to add one more image right here. So just do the same thing, add an image, and then I'm going to go ahead and upload another image right here. So what I'm going to do is just give a little bit more of a description about what this product is about just to give people a reason to take action and buy this product. So I'm going to just go over to the product page on AliExpress and just look up the information or the description of this uh, particular product. So high strength polyester material, I'm going to just put that for the headline. Now this is just an example for this video, but I mean, I recommend that you guys take the time and do the research and make your sales funnel look 
as much presentable as possible. So high strength strength polyester. And then I'm gonna just adjust the uh the text right here. So I'm gonna make this white, text color white, and that looks good. And then down here, I'm gonna add another headline. So just talk about another feature of this product. So I'm just put perfect grip. So I'm gonna adjust the uh, text again, make the text color white, and just make it a little bit bigger. And that, sh that should be good. So now what I'm gonna do is just add a subheadline for this to give a little bit more description of the product and why people should uh, why people should buy it. So I'm gonna add a new headline, and I'm gonna just put just some random information. But for your product or whatever you're creating your sales funnel about, just take the time and just write a detailed description that's gonna just add more value to your product. Get in shape by working out 15 minutes a day using this heavy duty jump rope. So I'm gonna make that stand out a little bit more and maybe just change the font. So what I'm going to do is just center it a little bit by adjusting the top margin, just fill in that extra space. So now what we're going to do for the next part of our sales funnel is that we're going to create an email opt-in section. So what we're going to do is just add a new section right here, and then we're going to make that full width as well. And then we're going to add another one. Now for this one, we're going to add a new row and we're going to make it one column. So we're going to just add a headline to this, uh, to this row add element headline and, and we're going to want to give an incentive for people to opt in. So for the headline, we're just going to put something like claim 50% off today only. Let me just capitalize this one. So I'm gonna just change the color of this to make it stand out a little bit more. So for the text color, I'm gonna just make it red. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a new element. And let's scroll down and what we're gonna actually enter in is gonna be what's called an input form. So right here, as you can see, there's a section where people can enter in their email address. So we're gonna go to the settings and then we're just gonna set what we want people to enter in. So for input type, we can have them enter in their full name, first name, last name. But for this one, we're gonna have them enter in their email address. Now, you can adjust, you can adjust, adjust it right here to have it say whatever you want for the for the box. So say first name, and now you can see it says first name right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but for this one, I'm gonna just put your email address. Enter email address so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a button so when somebody enters in their email they're gonna click the button and that's gonna enter them and pretty much take them to the next page so add a new element and then we're gonna click on button so as you can see it says right here click to sign up but we can go ahead and change that to whatever we want so we can actually put, yes, I want 50% off. And then we can just go ahead and change the color of the button. We can give it a little space and adjust the font. 
and for the background color we can make it whatever we want I'm gonna just make it the same color to make it congruent and yeah but we also have to set the action button so when somebody clicks on this button we have to set where it's gonna take them but I mean for the example of this video I'm not gonna go ahead and do that because this isn't an actual product that I'm making a sales funnel for it I'm just doing this as an example now let me just go ahead and add one more thing so I'm gonna add a new element and what I'm gonna add is a countdown timer so I'm gonna add minute timer and then you can go ahead and adjust it to however much time you want to but I'm gonna just add 10 minutes so basically this is gonna be counting down 10 minutes and whenever somebody comes to this landing page they're gonna see a countdown timer and it kind of gives them like a reason to hurry up and enter in their email so this is basically creating a sense of urgency so let me actually just put this above this line right here so they can see the call to action and they can see the countdown timer so let me just go ahead and save this and preview it and let me just see how this landing page looks so as you can see we have the title we have the little slogan we have the background image the headline right here a little brief description and then we have a few more images of the product itself to give more information and the quality of it and then we have the call to action claim 50% off today only and the countdown timer so whenever somebody enters in their email they click the button that's going to redirect them to the next page but I don't have this button set up yet because this is only an example that I'm doing for this video but when you have it set up it's going to take them to the next part of your sales funnel so that's basically how easy it is to create a sales funnel using click funnels well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video for a 14 day free trial for ClickFunnels. And after that, it's going to be regular price. And if you guys are interested in getting started with your own online business, but you have no idea where to get started, check out the first link in the top of the description. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I mentioned earlier, if you guys are interested in learning different methods when it comes to making money online, then I invite you to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And hopefully you guys got some value from this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this video. Now, once again, if you guys are interested in getting started with ClickFunnels, there's going to be a link in the description of this video for a two-week free trial. Well, that's pretty much it for this one. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.